when did you kind of decide to go with TVS and then place the order? And can you kind of take us through that timeline a little bit? Well, we started discussing this late last year, late late 2006. Uh, Norman, uh, it, his crew came out. He was one of three vendors that we were looking at. Uh, they came out, uh, gave us their uh, uh, dog and pony show, if you would, and. Um, then it gave me an opportunity and Leonard an opportunity to do a little bit of uh, background research and, and try to find out a little a bit about uh, transparent video. And lo and behold, I, I come across a vendor friend of mine that knows Norm and it's like, you know, uh, got rave reviews from him. Uh, a friend of mine, Russell Brown, just, you know, said if anyone can pull this act off, it's Norm. And uh, so we went ahead, you know, talking to a few other people that, that you know, knew Norm and, and, and his crew, you know, we, we decided to take a leap of faith, if you would, and um, we went, uh, we decided to go with Transparent Video. Uh, this was, let's see, we probably signed the deal somewhere in February, I believe. Uh, it's kind of a... <laughs> it's it's kind of a, a blur to me right now when we signed the deal, but uh, going from there, uh, from the point that we signed the deal, um, it became const pretty well constant communication between Transparent Video and Coaxial Cable as to what our requirements are, were uh, getting down to the actual brass tacks. They knew what our requirements were from our meetings, but it was, it was uh, how things were going to be implemented, what every step of the way what was going on we were getting you know weekly and daily emails as to you know the uh, uh, status of the equipment being manufactured everything else where the where where the the set top boxes are where all these different pieces of the puzzle are coming together and uh, you know just how logistically it all kind of magically appeared if you would all on one afternoon. Uh, the head end equipment shows up about uh, a couple hours later. We've got a truck showing up with uh, all the set-top boxes and um, let's just say chaos took place. <laughs> and that was sometime in June? Yeah. It was, uh, let's see, actually it was May. The, it was uh, uh, mid to late May that all this started happening because uh, we started our, our digital migration June 1st. Uh, that's when we were running uh, the HIT system and uh, the, the Motorola system and the transparent video system simul simultaneously. And then July 1st, we pulled the plug completely on the Motorola system. Huh. So we, we transitioned uh, a little over 600 customers in 30 days. And you've, uh, you've been growing in customers. That's the nice part is that uh, I'm not quite sure what the uh, reasoning behind it is, but I'm going to enjoy it though. We've, we've started to actually build our, our customer data, our, our digital customer base um, is starting to grow, which is uh, kind of nice. <laughs> it's uh, because we were stale. We were stuck where we were at. Mm -hmm. And now we're, we are, you know, picking up. <laughs>